Now to Baltimore, Maryland, where six people are presumed dead after a cargo ship slams into the Francis Scott Key Bridge, sending it crumbling into the river below. Right, Fox News Richard Giacobis joins us live in studio with a closer look at how it all unfolded and the difficult search effort that continues at this hour. Richard. Steve Teresa, it's an extensive search and rescue in those in and above the frigid waters into the night in Baltimore, but it is no easy feat. It's cold in the Patapsco River. There are dangerous rip currents, tide conditions, and on top of all that, flood advisories. But crews won't give up. They've identified at least five vehicles submerged in the water, but still haven't found the six people missing. Yo! Once that 984 foot container ship collided into one of the pillars of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, it took just seconds. Be advised, the entire Key Bridge has now collapsed into the water. For it to come crashing down into the water, like a toy train set. Multiple dispatch calls go out to stop cars from driving across. I advise to hold all traffic from coming to the bridge. It was just before 1.30 this morning when the cargo ship reportedly loses power. In this video, you could see the ship goes dark. Then the lights appear to come back on but it veers off course and crews on board lose control. Uh, National know, Transportation like Safety Board Chair Jennifer Homendy revealing today that the agency will look into if and when the ship dropped anchor before the crash or if it did indeed lose power. It's something that uh, we take in, but something that we have to verify. Holmandy says the NTSB is standing back, allowing the Coast Guard to still search. Dive teams, drones, along with the use of sonar and infrared technology has allowed crews to identify vehicles submerged in the water, but still no sign of the six people still missing. They are hoping and praying, and we are hoping and praying with them. The container ship was chartered by Danish shipping company Maersk. According to a statement released by the company, the ship was carrying customers' cargo, but none of the company's crew or personnel were on board. But whatever crew was on board issued a mayday call, alerting authorities to stop traffic. These people are heroes. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden committing to visiting Baltimore as quickly as he can. The president also promising to rebuild the bridge and get it up and running. We're not going to wait for that happen. We're going to pay for it to get the bridge rebuilt and opened. The priority now, though, is locating the missing people, believed to still be in that 40-degree water. Right now, this is about the lives of those individuals that we are searching for and nothing else. It's an exhaustive search. The NTSB says it has launched a GO team to investigate the incident, a team of 24 experts that will evaluate the vessel's operations and safety records. The agency chair says the voyage data recorder will also be a critical part of the investigation. Then comes the cleanup, which officials say could take years. Teresa. All right, Richard, thank you.